And just got our old mailbox off the ground. And uh, figured I'd try to do something with it. Don't want to throw it away because it's a, it's a pretty good box, but <laughs> Woodpecker got a hold of it. I gave him something here to hang on to and so he could grab a hold of here on the side and he would back everywhere and uh, got a hole here a hole there he got several holes inside almost got one there got one almost in the back so he was packing all around so finally just gave him the box Put his name on it and uh, moved it across the road and just left it there. And then just now getting around to, he's no longer pecking at it and no longer living in it, no longer around. So, well, I guess the woodpecker's gone. So, thought I'd just uh, maybe knock these off and knock this off. And instead of making it a barn, make it a house. And uh, patch up our holes and see if I can't get my grandkids to paint that thing again. <laughs> All right. So let me, uh, I guess, let me get started with trying to get these things here off. Got all the junk off the outside of it. And uh, now, gotta do some repairing, repainting. Gotta fix that door for sure. And, uh, and put some wood filler in here. I might leave these on. But I probably won't. I'm going to go ahead and pull them off. Let's go ahead and pull them off now. junk off the outside here's the, all the junk that was on the outside but it may look like a little barn look good until Woody got a hold of it <laughs> woodpeckers can do some damage so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put wood putty on these just wood filler and then uh, 
paint it, fix the door, wood filler, paint it, and then uh, really just sand and paint back here, I think. All right. Well, there's the first part of Woody's box. Let me get it inside where I can work on it in the shade and in the cool or cooler. All right, I guess that's it for now. And I want to get something put on the inside of these holes. So let me put this like right there. Now then, you can get on the inside and fill up this hole here. I just got to watch them little old deals I got stuck out there. I can, I can fix that. Snip them off and put some more on the inside of these. All right. these hinges were it's pretty messed up you can tell so what I'm gonna do is put some uh, like toothpicks down in the screw holes and then I'm gonna fill this fill this up with uh, uh, glue put some uh, toothpicks in these holes and then when uh, then I'm gonna clamp this together clamp this together and then try to make that look a little better than what it does and then when we go back we'll put the uh, hinges like over here and over here you know what I'm saying like, like over here and over here and not use them same holes that's what I'm doing here now All right, now we'll let that dry. Close, get it closed together. Let that dry and let that dry. And then we'll like pre-drill some holes like right here and here and here and here for the uh, for the uh, hinges. See if we can't get that a little better than that. All right.
screws on any of our open. See what it looks like now. a little better. So we got the holes filled up. That looks a little better. That hole's not filled up, but we're not going to use that hole. I'm going to put a uh, I need to sand that down a little bit. But it looks a whole lot better than it did for sure. And then uh we can uh we can work with that. Put a hinge down here, say right about here, and a hinge about right here, you know, and just let those heal. <laughs> I may put a little wood filler there also. So. Alright. Now I'm gonna get those uh little deals off in the middle and sand the outside down. Yeah, just about got this top bar sanded down, so do a little more sanding. Knock those out, and then do some painting. back of the mailbox it don't have a it's got plenty of caulk all the way around so it, it doesn't it, like that's the back of the mailbox so it doesn't really have to be pretty but I'm gonna knock just kind of go over it a little bit so we can paint it That'll do that. That'll uh, take paint and uh, the back will be fine. Let's take a look at the bottom. Alright, the bottom's got a few places. I'm going to fill these up just just because. But I, I think that woodpecker was pecking underneath there, it looks like. So I'm going to fill that up and maybe fill some of the, this junk up. And then, uh, then we'll call that good because it's still... It's still good and solid everywhere. So, so let's put some uh, uh, wood filler in, and uh, try to fix that bottom a little bit. Let's see if we can get these old hinges off of here. This one's bent. Can't even get the screwdriver in on there. So I'll have to bend it down a little.
get it out of the way. Yeah, I can get the screws out. Didn't look too good, did it?
just so a little tip for you. Uh, you want to save your brush till tomorrow? Get you a bag, a penny bag, a plastic bag of do it. And you, you stick it down in the bag, like so. And get all of the air out of it. There we go. And then tomorrow, it'll be as good as it is today. You can start using it again tomorrow. All right. Now let me get my paint put up. Ready to paint.
Got Woody's box. Looking pretty good so far. A brown roof. Wide on the bottom. All we got to do is do some painting now. And get that door back on. And what I did is I sanded the edges down where they would fit a little better inside and probably gonna take that out of there but now it'll fit inside really easy we got plenty of room all around so now I just got to get a a, uh, a hinge put on it to where we can flip it up and down all right, finally got our piano hinge in, and I think it's gonna work much, much better than that other one. It's exactly the right height, and it'll go across the whole thing. We can put several screws in it all the way down. And then, uh, so I got this cut off a little piece on the end, and a piece off of this end, so that our holes will be in here. And then uh, I didn't paint this. Them old big hands didn't work. So I didn't paint this, but I uh, semi-repaired it. And uh, I didn't paint it because I knew I was going to have to paint this. So when we get all this put back on or together, then we'll paint it and paint all of it at one time. So no point in painting that right there. This is going to cover it up anyway, and then you have to paint this again. So, Anyway, piano hitch, hinge is in, and so uh, we'll get it put on, and then we'll see what a, kind of a artistic abilities my grandkids have. Uh, we need to take off about that much altogether, so what I'm going to do is take off. Uh, Oh, we need to take off about that much all together. And so, what I, I don't want to take off my hose. So what I'm going to do is take off this much right here off this end. Maybe. Some on this side. that off. Don't know if it'll cut that. Other end. Maybe. I almost don't have enough hand strength anymore to do stuff like this. Got it. I have to get me a little cutter and cut that. Now, 
Tudo bem? There we go. Fits in between here. Got a fits on the door, and uh, so now it won't overlap on the side there. So it is ready to screw on. So let's get some screws in it. Attach that to that because it's not attached right now. So and then uh, go from there. All right, here's the test. It'll open. And it shuts. Opens and shuts. Don't rub. So now we can get some paint on this. Paint on that bottom. And then, uh, then we can work on the sides. 